Hi everyone, it's the Eric Kwa here, founder of Mr. Chemistry. Hope you're enjoying the videos that I've made for you, especially. Remember to tap that like button and to click subscribe and to share with your friends if you found any of these videos useful or interesting. I look forward to seeing you around. Let's get started with today's topic. Hi everybody, uh, I just want to go through this little portion which I did with my class like a couple of weeks ago. So we're going through this 10 year series question on electrolysis, right? And there is this question that says that, okay, this table shows a voltage, right? Uh, that's generated in a simple cell with two different metals. So they list out uh, some of the values that they have when they put copper and zinc. They have 1.1 volts and so on and so forth. They list out five of them. And then the first question they ask, why different combination pr produces different voltages? Okay, so this question is pretty easy when you have uh, different reactivity metals, right? Connected in a simple cell, you will get different voltages because they have different electrode potentials. Okay, so the greater apart, the further apart they are, in the reactivity series, the greater the voltage. The second part is the part that I want to elaborate a little bit upon. They say it suggests the voltage that will be produced when the following metal pairings are actually used. So they have copper and iron, which uh, I have uh, drawn out, illustrated here, right? So um, what they want is between copper and iron. Okay, so they've given in the table, right, two other examples between copper and nickel, copper and zinc. So copper and nickel is zero point, generated 0 0.6 voltage. Copper and zinc, on the other hand, generated 1.1. The reactivity, reactivity lies in between zinc and nickel. So the suggested voltage, right, should be around 0 0.8 voltage. Of course, you can put other values, 0 0.79, 0 0.69, 0 0.85. All these will be marked correct. There will be a range as long as your answer lies between 0 0.6 and 1.1. It is all good. Okay, the second question that they're asking is between silver and magnesium. This one is slightly more open-ended because the three examples you see that they gave, right? Silver with the three metals, uh, they have 1.06, 1.25, 1.56. Then they want you to guesstimate silver and magnesium. Magnesium, as you can see from here, is the most uh, reactive metal. So all the requirement is that the value that you propose must be above 1.56 because the difference in reactivity is even greater than the other three metals. So um, any value that you propose here, right? Like 2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, anything uh, that is above 1.56, technically it will all be accepted. Of course, don't put a, like a 10 volts or something. Still within the reasonable voltage. La. So anything I think below four that is greater than 1.56 should be considered correct. Alright, so that's all I have to say about this 10-year series question. Uh, so some of these questions requires that you make logical inferences. Hopefully you are able to do that. If you find this video useful, remember to like and share it with your friends who may find this useful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.